is a paid program. Views expressed on this program are not necessarily those of CBS Radio, its sponsors, or affiliates. Welcome to the Hardcore Mortgage Real Estate Business Show, brought to you by Capital Mortgage Fund. I'm your host, Harvey Freed, alongside of me, Alex Nafusi. Hey, buddy. Good morning, man. Hey, Alex. What's happening, man? August 20th. No complaints. And this is the Dream Cruise Weekend, and we got a lot to share with you. Again, we're going to sort of tie in what's going on locally here. And that's why we bring in Dan Dubinsky from Skyward Realty. Talk about the Woodward Corridor, downtown Royal Oak. Good morning, Dan. Yeah, good morning. It's going to be hopping today, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You're going to sell some houses maybe today? Starting on Tuesday where your people gather launchers out watching. How are you going to sell houses? You can't drive anywhere. How are you going to sell houses? I know how to go. You get through across Woodward. You have to go under in 696 through through there, and then you come out the other side. Oh, that's up to that. We're going to be secrets here. Yeah, 40 minutes to to go to uh, usually an eight-minute drive. All right, so today's the day you call the capital mortgage and you get your approval letter in hand. You find out how much you can get approved for, and that way Dan can get you all set up and maybe get you out there tomorrow or even Monday. It's going to be a gorgeous uh, couple weeks still left of summer here, of course. Officially, when does summer end? When the kids go back to school? I, I don't know. That's, that's basically what it seems like. I think it's it based on temperature. Like. Temp- oh, okay. That's when it's over. Forget yeah, the official know. date. Oh, well, okay, if, if it's 77 in the middle of October, that's still summer, dude. Absolutely. Right? I don't know. I'm, I just, agree. I'm not, you know. Hey, I'm we're going to take your mortgage much. calls here. 248-539-9797. Tons to share with you. Of course, you can always call Capital Mortgage at 1-800-LOW-RATE, the best mortgage banker. Alex, as you know, mortgage rates still on course. They're just unbelievable. They remain very, very low, maybe at the 50-year lows. What else is real interesting around here is gas is really low, and that's cool. Low interest rates, low gas, and low unemployment figures. People are working. I mean, it's a great vibe around Southeast Michigan. I'm feeling real positive. Yeah, I mean, I think everything's in a good spot. Uh, you know, you know, my only concern is that, um, you know, is the is the house values. I mean, is staying, you know, as high as they are. I mean, I, I don't, I don't want to say that they're inflated, but I mean, they're they're pretty high. I mean, you know, in Southeastern Michigan, you know, you're not going to be paying. I mean, I have a buddy whose house appraised, and I hate to say that appraisals from mortgage side are based on comparable sales. I have a buddy whose house appraised in Birmingham, four hundred bucks a square foot. That's a lot. Yeah, That's is. asinine. That's like San Francisco pricing. Well, well, with that, there better be an ocean view. It's, there's an ocean view. Well, the deal it's that got a pool. Al, you know, Alice gave me good news earlier in the week of one of our deals where I was pushing it as well. The, uh, the, the, the fifth. We were pushing the envelope on what it could get. The appraiser came in 2000 over. Really? Yeah. Well, there, hey, if the comps are there, the comps are there. I mean, obviously, the hot areas are still happening. Uh, be advised. I mean, there definitely could be some bumps around the road. Uh, lots of investors are looking for the next couple of weeks. There's that Jackson Hole Symposium where Warren Buffett shows up and all the zillionaires show up, and they talk about what's going to be going on with what the future. What do you find out future. What's your flight leave for that? No, I, I no, uh, I, they, yeah, you might be on that flight, not me. <laughs> no, hey, no, not. Yeah, I'll, we, be, I'll be the flight attendant on the flight. Yeah, you'll be serving the drinks. I'll be the stewardess. We, we, <laughs> always take your, get to that. we always take your calls here, 248-539-9797. Sort of a really cool vibe. I mean, I, I wrote things like, I, I dig the Dream Cruise. It was really fun. Uh, Nancy's got a place down, uh, a, a office over there off of Woodward, just south of Lincoln. We went out Thursday night and checked it out. I mean, it's a great vibe. A lot of people in from out of town, uh, brings a lot of money to our area. Anything that brings money to our area and it's safe and cool, I love it, Dan. And I don't know. I mean, obviously, it's a little bit of a hassle for you, but yet all of next week to sell houses, right? Uh, yeah, and I'll tell you what, it's just an activity. People like things to do. You might not want to go to this particular event, but there's in this area, there's always kind of something going on. And I was in your neck of the woods yesterday. Uh, Berkeley, a client called, so they identified one house they'd like to see. Okay. Went, went through it, and they said, we want to put an offer on it. Oh, great. And I told them, I said, listen, you know, as supposed to just looking at one, I'd love to sell this house to you, but maybe we should look at the other ones. You have nothing, no, no basis. It's actually a really honest move. There are a lot of realtors that are like, okay, let's go over asking price. Yeah, but, and, and so we're going to go look at some other stuff, and we're going to, and if there's no other offers on the table, you don't have to come in asking. You can, can come in light, right? The interesting thing is, when I count this out, we're going to add 135 a square foot in Berkeley. But this is on Greenfield. As soon as I pulled the other three sales in Greenfield, you're at seventy-five dollars a square foot. Ah, uh, it's on the, it's on a main road. It's on a main road, but the difference is the driveway comes off Catalpa. Gotcha. So gotcha. It's a corner. It's a corner, though. So it's yeah. huge. Trying to back up on Greenfield is a lot different than a, 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 a side road. All right. We have tons to share with you here. Let me just throw this out. 248-539-9797. Now, let's take your calls. If you're purchasing a house, if you want to refinance your house, be sure to give us a phone call here in the studio. We can guide you through that. Always at Capital Mortgage. Also, you're going to save a ton of money. Alex, yeah, I'm still getting the phone calls. And even Nicole comes on the show and she says, Harvey, I've been trying to get you these buyers. And sure enough, they went to Joe's mortgage trunk, trunk of your car mortgage. The whole transaction's blowing up. I, I can't even believe why people just... 
take this. You know what? If you don't deal with Capital Mortgage, find a local lender here that has a great reputation and deal with them or give us a phone call. If you don't want to deal with us, we'll tell you where to go. Like, How's that I, sound? I've got buddies that are in the mortgage industry. They, I mean, they do they do a great work. I, I, I have no problem. I said, listen, if you don't want to use me, I'm like, please don't start Googling lowest interest rates. I'll give you, I'll, I mean, Call, I mean, call my buddy Jason, call my buddy Linus. If you don't like me or Harvey or Harry or whomever in our office, I'll give you somebody that I know is an honest person. Don't be Googling, you know, lowest interest rates and all that. And we had the other day, <laughs> I was talking to a listing agent, shocking, and they're calling, their, you know, I said, listen, appraisers are backed up. Appraisers, I mean, they just, there's, there's not enough people to do the work. Start a school. Start yeah, title school. companies are backed up. Every, everyone's busy. And this lady goes, she goes, well, you know, ABC mortgages isn't backed up. Oh, I said, I said, you know, well, then they're not busy. Well, there's a reason they're not. There's a re- there's a reason they're not backed up because if, you know if, if rates are at three and a half or three and three quarters or whatever, and you're not busy, you you're you're I'm gonna swore you're crappy at your job. Like your your your, fir- your firm's bad. I mean, right? If you walk into a restaurant tonight, it's Saturday night. You walk into a restaurant, no one's there. Uh, it might mean something. That might be a good idea. There's no doubt. I'm glad you mentioned that, Alex. Uh, look, some of the transactions, purchase transactions, I've taken even in the last Bro, 30 days. Wait, wait, wait. That was the Bro, best wait. analogy ever. If you walk into a restaurant uh, at eight o'clock Saturday right. night and nobody's there. There's a reason no yeah. one's there. If you can sit down and get served real quick, it's probably not going to taste so good. But yeah, I mean, look, the appraisers are really backed up. And again, we don't want to take anyone's side. It's not. It's everyone has to work together and make a transaction go smooth. We definitely put our purchase transactions in front of refinance transactions. But yeah, we saw it really starting uh, about the beginning of June. Appraisals are just taking a little bit longer. Not on every transaction. Some are coming back right away. I mean, as fast as they ever could, could come back. But there are a few of them that definitely are taking an extra week or whatever. I know I know the appraisers are working real hard. Again, there's only so many licensed appraisers in Southeast Michigan. Yeah, so and, they're going to be busy. This kind of goes back to what uh, Alex was saying in uh, prices increasing. But I haven't had to fight a lot of appraisals lately. They seem to be coming in at value a little bit better. And I don't know what's going on. But maybe they're understanding you know, they'll take the leap of faith and Put, put the property out there at a new number. Yeah, I was like, of course I bragged about it. I had like this uh, unbelievable winning streak on appraisals and then I had one come in a little light recently. But look, they're going to work it out. They're going to check out some comps and who knows, the house what well, did have some obsolescence, that's for sure. I'll tell you, it's, at the end of the day, if you're a buyer and the appraisal comes in low, it, that's your advantage. You can use that to renegotiate the deal. There you go. Well, you know, that, that's Dan, that's, that's such a great point. You know, if, 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 if Dan sell me a house for just for the sake of BS, $200,000, and the appraisal comes in at 180. Dan's first phone call to me is going to be like, "Hey, dude, I have great news. I just saved you 20 grand yeah. on this house." And prior to that, we had a conversation that says, "Listen, I'm going to sell you this house at this price, and I truly believe it's worth it." But someone else may come in and say it's not. Yeah, and, and here's the you plan: know, if we do, or Dan, here's what's going to happen. Yeah, Dan's do. Dan's first call to me is not, "You should find another lender. This appraisal sucks." Yeah. No, that's not the first call. The first call is you're going to go back. You know, is to me say, "Hey, we're going to save you 20 grand. We're going to go back to the sellers. And we're going to say, "Hey, your house is worth this." The second call is, "Hey, we were willing to give you the 200. The bank won't." We're sorry. Can we move forward? I'll, I'll prepare an addendum. And we'll get it down the appraisal price. Yeah, you just forward the appraisal off to the listing agents, and they'll, they'll go ahead. And they can present that to the sellers well, and well, decide what's best. Yeah, and what happens is they come back and negotiate. But hey, you're, at the end of the day, you're getting a better deal than you agreed to in the first place. There you go. It's the magic word: negotiate. Two four eight five three nine ninety seven ninety seven. Come and join the show again. If you're going to be purchasing a house, refinancing, maybe you've got that land contract that you need to pay off. Or a lot of families, we we call them these boomerang buyers. Some of you guys have come back. You're ready to buy again. And Alex, we had a whole bunch of clients that I've talked to recently that have entered into land contracts. And the land contract's going to expire before they're able to actually qualify for a mortgage. So you're going to want to find out if you had a bankruptcy, a foreclosure, a short sale, a deal of foreclosure, any of those bad things that might have happened to you on your on your properties in the past. Again, you're not out of the game forever, but it's based on sheriff's deeds, uh, discharge dates, and things of that nature. Again, so you gotta you got to find out what you uh, when you can purchase and well, move yeah, forward. And the thing is, the more information you can provide to Harvey and myself up front, the easier it makes the transaction for you. I mean, you know, when I, when I pull someone's credit and I see, you know, it's a 625 credit score and I can see his, you know, previous foreclosure on there, even if it was, you know, whatever, five, six, seven years ago, then I see that there's eight other banks that have pulled your credit before. Like, my first question is, what am I, what am I missing? I'm not the first guy you've called. Like, why am I the lucky one? What's going on, on you know, on here? I mean, and the, the, listen, their credit repair companies, they can get you a foreclosure off your credit report. I mean, they, they can. I mean, it, it, it'll get pulled off, but we run our, whatever, our fraud guard or whatever we, we the, 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 our, our, the girls run. Yeah, it's going to pop gonna, up. It's going to pop up. Or you, it, it's eventually, it might not be on your credit report that I see up front, but it's going to come up, to, you know, eventually sometime in the transaction. So if you tell me up front, like, yeah, hey, dude, I did, I did, I walked from my house four years ago. Just tell me, not, you know, tell me up front so I can structure the deal properly.
Yeah. I mean, you can if you, if you if you lost your house four years ago, you can buy again. Yeah, get right back into the game again. Save money, rebuild your credit, find out where you fall into all of this. Just call Capital Mortgage at one eight hundred Low Rate or give us a call here at the show. 248-539-9797. Yeah, Alex, I mentioned that Janet Yellen and the Fed will be getting together out in Jackson Hole. Um, they do this once a year and the Fed gets together and all the they try to figure out a path for 2016. Our mortgage rate's going to go up. Is the Fed going to bump up? Again, even if the Fed does, Janet Yellen, even if she makes a move and they even if they did bump up, which we don't know if they're going to go up or go down. Definitely, it doesn't always... Oh, they're not going down. <laughs> they're definitely not going down. It doesn't always affect mortgage interest rates in a negative way. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. But again, with rates being at all-time lows, you're going to want to lock in. And if you got that purchase out there and you're going to be closing in the next 30 days, get in touch with your mortgage person. Lock that in. Move forward. Put a smile on your face. We come back. All of your calls, 248-539-9797. This CBS Sports Minute is brought to you by the Michigan Lottery. Hi, Harry Glanz for Capital Mortgage Funding. Rates are at historic lows, and they're not going down to zero. So what are you waiting for? Call 1-800-LOW-RATE and let our award-winning staff help you save money. If you're looking to purchase a new home, refinance your existing home, and you want to save money, call 1-800-LOW-RATE and take advantage of these historic low rates. That's Capital Mortgage Funding, 1-800-LOW-RATE, the best mortgage banker. What are you waiting for? Call 1-800-LOW-RATE. Capital Mortgage Funding is powered by Fairway Independent Mortgage Corporation. Corporation, NMLS ID number 2289, equal housing lender. How many cliches does it take to tell you about the big league raffle from the Michigan Library? Let's count. Fans, it's time to step up to the plate for the big league raffle. Here's the pitch. You could win a trip for two to the 2016 World Series and score 2017 Detroit Tigers season tickets for two. And to cover all the bases, there are thousands of other cash prizes up to $50,000. Get your Michigan Lottery big league raffle ticket in store or online before they're long gone. Major League Baseball trademarks and copyrights are used with permission of the applicable MLB entity. All rights reserved. You know what? What? For once, I'd like a second chance. An extra shot? Another go around. Oh, a redo. A double dip, if you will. I will. That's what you get with the Michigan Lottery's Daily 3 Red Ball Double Draw. Wait, what? It's called Red Ball Double Draw. During the Daily 3 nightly drawings, whenever the red ball falls, there'll be a second drawing. All right. Giving you another chance to win on the same ticket. Nice. Yeah, but it's only for a limited time. So, take a chance. And a second chance. With the Daily 3 Red Ball Double Draw from the Michigan Lottery. Knowing your limits is always the best bet. The following rules cover the wall side windows contest 2016. Enter online at cbsdetroit.com slash wallside from 12 a.m. April 5th to October 2nd at midnight. One entry per person. One secondary prize winner will be randomly selected by the station at 12 p.m. on May 31st, June 30th, July 30th, and August 31st from all eligible entries received up to the time of the random drawing. Non-selected entries will automatically roll over into subsequent secondary prize random drawings. One grand prize winner will be randomly selected by the station on October 30th from all eligible entries received during the entry period. Odds depend on the number of entries received at the time of each drawing. The four secondary prize winners will each win a gift certificate valid for one standard six-foot white door wall, sliding glass door, manufactured and installed by Wallside Windows in Winner's Home, valued at $1,400. The grand prize winner will receive a $7,200 gift certificate from Wallside Windows, valid for custom-made windows and installation in the Winner's Home, prize awarded upon verification of eligibility. Prize winner must own their home as of the date prior to the start of the promotion. Entrants are solely responsible for obtaining and paying for all required permits to complete any construction and permissions and authorizations from any local homeowners association or government. Open to Michigan residents 18 or older in the Wallside Windows service area listed on 971theticket.com. No purchase necessary. Void were prohibited. Visit cbsdetroit.com slash wallside for rules. Earnings vary based on your effort. Do you want to learn how to make money flipping houses right here in Detroit and Ann Arbor? If so, we have an amazing opportunity for you. We're looking for a small group of motivated individuals to join our real estate investing team. You'll learn our simple three-step system for flipping homes right here in the local area. This is Than Merrill, star of A&E's hit TV show, Flip This House. My team and I are looking for a handful of people in the Detroit and Ann Arbor area who want to learn how to make money flipping houses in your spare time using other people's money. Detroit and Ann Arbor are perfect markets for my system. And next week, I'm holding a free two-hour educational workshop where you will learn how to make money flipping homes and how to build long-term wealth with income properties. To get two free tickets to Than's Workshop, call 1-800-235-0951. Seating is extremely limited. Call in the next 10 minutes and you'll also reserve a free copy of Than's Money for Deals Guide. That's 1-800-235-0951. That's 1-800-235-0951. If you know the value of good machines, then it's high time we got together. We're Bailey Industrial, builders of metal and woodworking equipment. Hardworking machines for hardworking people. Because better equipment means better work and getting more done. 
and keeping you working is what we do best. We stand behind our equipment and make sure our equipment stands behind you. Offering you the after-sale support you need to keep your shop running smoothly, which means making sure you have what you need when you need it. Typically shipping within 72 hours or less. So whether you're a hobbyist or a seasoned professional on deadline, go to Bailey.com now and we'll send you a catalog. That's right, friend. Over 400 pages of what you love most, machines. So whatever you're looking to build, repair, or manufacture, do it with Bailey Industrial, the company you can trust to give you the equipment and service you can rely on. That's B-A-I-L-E-I-G-H. Bailey. Because if it's worth doing right, it's only right to do it with Bailey. So go to Bailey.com now and pick up your free catalog. Can't get an open phone line? Use the Galliano's Van Dyke Dodge ticket text at 97136. It's always open. Don't overpay. Get into Galliano's Van Dyke Dodge today. Your master's degree in Detroit sports. 971, the ticket. All right, welcome back to the show, 916. If you're just joining us, it's the Hardcore Mortgage Real Estate Business Show brought to you by Capital Mortgage Funding. Give us a call at Capital, 1-800-LOW-RATE, the best mortgage banker. You're going to save a ton of money on closing costs. Get that unbelievably low interest rate and deal with real professionals. Capital Mortgage Funding, 1-800-LOW-RATE, the best mortgage banker. Hey, guys, we definitely have some open lines, 248-539-9797 here in our 97.1 studio. Why do you want to call a mortgage show when you can look at all the cars? Like, I'm, 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 people probably, I don't know if people are that focused on, on it right now. I mean, I don't, I'd rather look at like whatever the, the this whatever the 57 Corvette or whatever. Does they have a starting time at Dream Cruise? I don't have an, uh, No, they're, I, they're just out there. Was, so you know, up to it, sundown. It, it's right? funny. You mentioned like the, like the, you know, the good vibe. Everyone wants to join the show. 248-539-9797. Harb, you know, the cool thing about, you know, the, the Dream Cruise is it, it does. It makes people, it, like, it makes people so happy. Like there are people that are just so jacked. I have uh, some of my good buddies, Steve and Kara. Kara's brother's coming from out of state and they've got one of the, I don't, I don't know what they have. Scott Rod Lincoln. Something, something. Yeah, what, something like that. And dude, these dudes, these guys just love it. I mean, they're so jacked. People are so happy. Like it's nice. It's nice to see that. I mean, like, you know, being in the industry and having, like, having our, pul- you know, our fingers on the pulse of the industry, dude, 2008, 9, 10 wasn't that long ago. I mean, we just sit in the studio. I mean, it sucked. I mean, you'd look outside. I mean, it could be, you know, 4th of July, and it was just, like, the vibe was just, like, whoa. Like, it was just, like, done. But just, like, even now, like, you know, with the weather changing and all that, people are just happy, dude. It's good. I mean, yeah. it's, a good, it's a good place to live. I, that's what I say, and I'll tell you, we had a tremendous summer. I always brag about the area, and, you know, when people used to, the, the, the abandonment, everyone was headed to Illinois. Well, everyone's moving back from Illinois. You know what they exactly. found out? There's just as much going on here in Michigan, if not a lot more. And, go, and again, you can live in Detroit, you can live downtown, you can live in the suburbs. The rebirth of all the cities, you're like your Berkeleys, your Romeos, your Plymouths. I mean, it's awesome. Of course, your Ann Arbors and all those towns have always been rocking, but even these suburb uh, cities are just great places. Downtown restaurants, bars, and coffee shops, and just a lot to do here in Southeast Michigan. You really know, cool. You know what's actually really going to, I think it's going to be a good city, I'm, and I'll go record right now, is Hazel Park. I think it's, 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 it's definitely Not, in the right you direction, were man. Of, you, you were, said, you were yes with me on that. Yeah. I, I, I'm telling you before, man, because here's the thing, okay, prices in, in Royal Oak, Berkeley, Clawson, certainly Birmingham. I mean, it's it's pricing out a, a lot of first-time home buyers. Yeah. And, hey, dude, I went to, I, what, I, 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 I don't want to get, like, I, I'll say whatever. I went to, I think it was Ma- Mabel Gray. Is that yeah, the yeah, new yeah, place? Yeah, 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 yeah. Dude, yeah, Chris's place. Yeah. Awesome. There's a second Yeah, that guy can cook. Too. What did he own? He, was, he owns uh, something he else, owns too. Out, yeah, there's something. But anyway, out in White Lake, it he owns It doesn't matter. So we went root. down there. He owns Root. Yeah, Root. Thank you. Um, well, if you look at the community, Alex, it's, it's centrally located. We have 75 and 696. Right there. That's the upper right quadrant. You have Ferndale and you have uh, Huntington Woods and Royal Oak. They all took off, right? Yeah. And it's always been interesting to me why that hasn't taken off. But it's going to. I'm telling you, you right now. You go in there and buy a home for $50,000, uh, either fix it up a little bit and rent it, or you can live there. And, you know, I, I, things usually start in the north and work their way south in that in that uh, vicinity of a town. But I, I see uh, a little downtown uh, atmosphere. They are starting to have restaurants and they can, uh, you know, they can make something nice in this. Hey, we definitely want to hear from you. 248-539-9797. I like where the vibe's going again. Um, talking about first-time home buyers. Look, it's just not good to be renters out there now. Rents through the roof. Why? Like you said, you're paying someone's mortgage. Pay your own mortgage. Take a look and find out what you can do to get approved on a mortgage. The tax break alone, writing off the interest on a mortgage and your taxes, uh, it's like owning for a thousand is like literally like renting for seven fifty. Well, I'll tell you what. I, I the one thing I re- really still enjoy is working with first time home buyers. They're excited. They they don't really know the process, but they you know they they trust you. And then we spend some time together and let them know what's going on. And I had people come in the other day and offer one hundred ninety thousand on one hundred sixty thousand for sale by owner. Why? 
because they really wanted the house. That's stupid. So I said to them, they're, they're getting a gift letter and so forth. The other problem was they, their gift came from their wedding. So they had to get, they thought they had to get 300 uh, gift letters. Okay. <laughs> no, almost. Not quite. There's a way to figure that no, one well, out. Usually what, usually what <laughs> the underwriters will take is like a copy of the marriage license yeah. and, and a letter of explanation saying, hey, this deposit right. of whatever, well, 15 this, grand, this, you know. Well, these people weren't using you guys, so it held everything up for about two weeks. And I said, why don't you just give it to the mother and have them do a gift letter? I, I didn't know how to. There you why go. would you just see that? Like, like, as a banker, why wouldn't you see that initially? Like, like a deposit of 15 grand. Say, hey, guys, by the way, where does money come from? And, right. and set it yeah. up ahead of time. You can yeah. document that right ahead of time. Yeah, well, it was holding up the appraisal, so I finally called, and that's what, that's what the holdup was. I was just mentioning for the rebirth of all these local suburbs. Um, there are a lot of tax dollars moving in again. Like Alex said, things were not so great around 2007, 8, 9, as people were losing their jobs, walking away from their homes. I mean, the cities weren't redoing roads and stuff. Look what's going on outside today. I mean, money's rolling in. Um, you can use it for schools, education, the infrastructure, public safety. Um, it, it appears that they're employing quite a few uh, a law, you know, firemen. Yeah. Uh, policemen are getting hired back on the job. Uh, it's, it's really good. Of course, the road projects are everywhere, so definitely some money rolling into this area. Uh, it's hard to get around town when you run into one of these construction things, but hey, maybe in another year or two, the roads will all be cleared. Again, hopefully we're going to get rid of mo the majority of these potholes. Let's tell you in another community that's up and coming, I think, is Clawson as well. Clawson is a great... Uh, I agree 100%. Yeah, you see, I, I went out to Clawson the other night. I was really impressed. As, as a fat kid, I compare everything, every city to the bars and restaurants. Sure. So, 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 if, so if, if, there's, <laughs> if there's good food, then match to the city. The city's good. It's got to so. be great. <laughs> yeah, but it's nice. If you look in that area, that Woodward Corridor, you have five or six communities that have a little bit of vibrant downtown. You can walk to the play, walk to your restaurant, walk uh, shop a little bit. It's, it's it's very nice. I think it's uh, something that uh, you're going to see. Clawson, Hazel Park, and a couple other communities come up. Yeah, maybe some of the other uh, areas too. You know, what's the Macomb? What's the Livingston County? You know, new new city that's going to really rock out. You know there. what? Yeah, we're forgetting too is uh, like out on the west side, like Milford, out that way, man. Yeah. I mean, dude, uh, Neville's has is that uh that Smoke Street, his barbecue place out there. Right. Again, another restaurant. Sure. <laughs> but, how else I mean, you gauging? Exactly. How else you gauging? But I mean, again, like when I drive out there to have dinner there, there, there's some really, really cool houses. And, you know, a lot of people don't want to be on top of their neighbors. Yeah. You know I mean? They want, you know, they want you know, the half acre of land or an acre of land, which is, and there's some really pretty houses out there, man. Yeah. You know, it's a, just different likes for everyone. I have people come by and where I look and say, well, that house is right on top of each other. It's 600,000. Yeah. But, you know, yards aren't that important. We have parks, you have the downtown. It's what it's, uh, yeah, but here's the thing. Okay. Choice. Dude, if, if you're in New York, no one's complaining. No one's saying that. No, exactly. So it's personal choice. You, I'm sure you've heard this before where you, the guy comes, well, I live up in um, uh, wherever far north here in Sheboygan, or not in Sheboygan, but somewhere, you know, uh, uh, let's say Warren or wherever. And I Warren's say, not north, Dan. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> well, a little bit east. Nice realtor. Yeah. <laughs> Way to go. He really, <laughs> really, 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 really knows, yeah. the, really knows the area. Look, at, right. a, look at a home in Birmingham and say, wow, this is 1.2. I could have this for 200000 There you go. But, hey, it's location, you know. It's, it's, it's People have to realize you pick in a community based on on a lot of different factors and some you're willing to give up some home because you want to live there there you go live right downtown where all the action is alright let's move on to some calls 248-539-9797 we've got Steve on the line from Rochester Hills good morning Steve welcome to the show hey good morning gentlemen um, we, we've owned this piece of property um, right across from a lake up north and we're thinking about building on it but we've heard nothing but it's extremely difficult to get a mortgage to build uh, we're not looking at anything elaborate. We're looking at something somewhere around eighty-five to a hundred thousand dollars to be the build. Because again, it's not anything big. What's the process, or what do I need to do to get that ball rolling? I mean, for eighty-five thousand. Okay, so first, those construction loans are—they are—they're more difficult than a standard mortgage. They really are. Um, right. Are you going to general contract the, the the building yourself? No, no, no. We, we we have we have a company that we're looking at using. Well, so he. he Steve, here's, okay, I'm sorry, buddy. So here's, if, if the company you're using to build it, if they're going to do everything for you, if you're going to sit down with them and they're going to, you're going to say, okay, we're, these are the plans we're going to do, you know, house four, you know, whatever it is, they're going to build for you. Right. I would ask them up front, if they'll front the cost for it, give them whatever, you know, 10, 20 grand to get the ball rolling. And you can do what's called an end loan, where we just pay the builder off once the once the, the house is complete. Because if you do a true, like, new construction loan, you got to take a draw, you know, when the when the, the, um, the basement's dug. You know, you know, another draw when the right. foundation's poured. You got to send inspectors out. And every time the inspector goes out to verify the construction's going the right way, so, you know, it's 150 bucks. What city is it in? Uh, where would you be building at, Steve? It's in Gladwin. 
Yeah, you know, there's like like Alex has sort of mentioned, if you can uh, find the right builder up there, so you want to really present them and say, look, do you want to build this for me? And then I'll just do an end loan to pay you off. In fact, let's say the project's a hundred thousand dollar home. If you're willing to fork over twenty twenty five thousand, that's enough money typically for them to dig the basement, pour the walls. If they can build the project again, he's a builder. He's got his own uh, lumber yards and stuff. If they have all the resources, then when it's complete and finished, and that's their motivation, they get paid. And that's what I like about it. If you deal with a builder and you can get sidetracked, the project could take a little bit longer. It's not a humongous project, but if you can get commitment, if they got some money in the game and they're like, hey, look, we're going to build this gorgeous ranch, budget's $100,000, let us get it wrapped up for you, then I think there's some motivation there where they can get the project done pretty quickly. But it's all about the builder you find, and then if they have a relationship maybe with uh, with their own uh, lenders up there. Or again, if you need your own construction loan, it's pretty easy to get. Steve, another thing some of my clients do that are building uh, new construction like that is they pull a loan from their 401k, build the house, right. and then do a cash out refinance and pay the loan from the, the 401k back. Yeah, you could do that. Oh, wow. Didn't, didn't think of that. Okay, perfect. Thanks, guys. Yeah, Appreciate no worries, Steve. Have a good weekend, buddy. All right. See you All right, definitely Bye. try to follow up, see if we can hook you up. Uh, we got to go to a quick break here, but I'll tell you what. We got some calls rolling in. 248-539-9797. Come on back and join the show. Freedom Sales event is on. Our biggest event of the year just got better. Just announced, get 0% Ford credit financing for 72 months across the entire lineup of 2016 Ford cars, trucks, and SUVs. Plus, specially tagged vehicles get a 1,000 smart bonus. That's freedom from interest and freedom to choose from the entire lineup of Ford vehicles. No wonder Ford is America's best-selling brand. Now, during the Ford Freedom Sales Event, get 0% Ford credit financing for 72 months across the entire lineup of Ford cars, trucks, and SUVs. Plus, specially tagged vehicles get a 1,000 smart bonus cash. Not all buyers qualify for Ford credit financing. 72 months at $1,389 per month for 1,000 finance regardless of down payment. Supply of vehicles with smart bonus is limited. Not available on Focus RS, Shelby GT350, F650, or F750. See dealer or go to Ford.com for qualifications and complete details. For all offers, take new retail delivery from dealer stock by 9-6-2016. Sales plan based on 2015 calendar year sales. We're here with Jeff Glover. Jeff Glover and Associates Realtors, and it's August. Jeff, what's happening in the market right now? The one thing I'm a little concerned about, especially this time of year, is things start to slow down once the kids go back to school. So we've got a little bit of a period basically from now until about Labor Day to get a house on the market and to get it under contract. This is an election year. What typically happens? An election year is always interesting because everybody wants to see who's going to get elected, how it's going to affect them, what it means for their life, what it means for their career, what it means for their next move. And so anytime we have an election year, we always have a little bit of a staleness in the market. And uh, we probably will see that for sure this year, you know, once we get past September, October and, and into the the beginning of next year. And who benefits during that? Well, it depends. When sellers get on the fence, buyers uh, don't have as much competition because there's not as much activity in the market. But on the other hand, if buyers don't have a lot of homes to choose from, well, then the market just stays pretty flat. The bottom line is you got to contact Jeff. Jeff Glover and Associates Realtors, 855-JEFF-SELLS or HouseSoldName.com. Hey, hello again, baseball fans. I just love extra innings. I mean, what's not to like about more baseball, right? Just like BP Gasoline with Invigorates can give you more miles. It helps clean dirty engine deposits ordinary fuels leave behind. So it can help you get more miles per tank. It's like extra innings for your car. New BP Gasoline with Invigorate. Our best fuel ever. Ordinary fuel refers to minimum detergency gas. Average restore 3 to 5 miles per tank based on fleet testing. Requires continuous use based on what you drive and how you drive. This is a life-changing message for anyone with sleep apnea who is on the go and tired of dragging around a big bulky home CPAP device. Now there's finally a portable device that's as small as a soda can and weighs less than a pound. You can even add a battery that's as tiny as a deck of cards. It's the Transcend Mini CPAP. And if you're one of the first 100 callers, you can try Transcend risk-free for 10 days. So call now, 1-800-900-6125. Transcend is the world's first portable mini CPAP device. It gives you the freedom to sleep in total comfort anywhere you are. Our smallest and most advanced portable design ever. Transcend is so small and so light, you can fit it in your briefcase or purse to use anywhere you go. It's FAA compliant too, so you can even sleep comfortably while flying. 
To guarantee your 10-day in-home trial, you must be one of the first 100 callers to call minicpap.com now. 1-800-900-6125. Again, that's 1-800-900-6125. Hey, want to win a trip to live a little of the American dream? It's a weekend trip to Miami for two to party and soak up the sun. Includes airfare, hotel, and spending cash. Just go to wardogsweekend.com to enter. That's www.wardogsweekend.com. Brought to you by War. Four Dogs, an unbelievable story of two guys hustling their way to the American dream. From the director of the Hangover Trilogy. Starring Jonah Hill and Miles Teller. War Dogs, find your hustle in theaters now. Rated R. Join 97.1 The Ticket and the Roush Automotive Collection in Livonia this Thursday, August 25th, for the free annual open house and cruise-in from 5 to 8. For more details, visit RoushCollection.com. 24 Seconds Bar in Berkeley is the place to be for everything sports. Friday night, it's the Berkeley Cruise Fest in downtown Berkeley. Enjoy all the Cruise Fest activities from the rooftop deck. Saturday night, it's UFC 202, Diaz versus McGregor. 24 Seconds in Berkeley. 24SecondsBar.com. You can now watch Valenti and Foster live streaming video afternoons 2 to 6 at 971theticket.com. All right, welcome back to the show, 931. It's the Hardcore Mortgage Real Estate Business Show brought to you by Capital Mortgage Funding. Give us a call here in the studio, 248-539-9797. Always at Capital Mortgage, 1-800-LOW-RATE, the best mortgage banker. Hey, 38 million homeowners have at least 20% equity. Yes, things have changed. Things are really jamming. Again, remodeling is at an all-time high. Families are out there. The projects they put off, they're pulling some equity out of their home. A lot of times you can pull equity out of your home, drop the years on your mortgage, and save money. Be sure to give us a phone call here at Capital. I like one of the, <laughs> one of the guys that does like, because I'm like, now that I have Natalie, she's super handy, so I don't really have like contractors anymore, but like one of the guys that I basically like had on scholarship through like eight, nine, and 10 was, you know, like when nobody, when none of those guys could right, get work. Right, no work. <laughs> now, like, now when I do, when I do something, like a big project, I call Joe, and he's like, he's like dude, he goes, I'm five months out. I'm like, Whoa. dude, you were you were like Reggie Bush for the, like through through, through eight nine ten. Right. I, like, I, was like, I was like making things up just to you know, to fix around working. my house to to make sure you guys get to you know to get to keep your house. Things have changed and we'll always change. Here's call to Debbie out in Novi. Debbie, thanks for staying on the line. Uh, this sounds like a good Hi. call. Hey, Debbie, who are you? What's going on? I am in Novi, and I just wanted to thank you guys. Uh, I've been listening to you guys for a while, and uh, you finally convinced me to, that I could be an, a homeowner. Um, I had the 20% down and I finally started looking and I got a great condo on the lake uh, in Novi and I couldn't be happier. And I just wondered if maybe you guys could maybe encourage people who don't maybe have the 20% because I was drowning in rent and it was, you know, I, and I look at it now and, I, and I'm saving so much money. Uh, and, and now I feel like I'm paying myself. Well, so yeah, I just absolutely. wanted to say thank you. Awesome. Awesome. Debbie, bravo, who, bravo, who, who, who bravo. Did, Debbie, who did your loan for you at our office? Um, well, I didn't go through your office because it was a small condo loan, and I know you guys do bigger mortgages. Um, <laughs> we would have and I, to. Actually, I worked for a credit union, and they did a lot. Oh, okay. perfect. Awesome. Well, I'm, I'm glad you're a homeowner now. I think it's an outstanding call. We appreciate that, definitely. Thank you. Bye-bye. Awesome. Thanks, Thanks Debbie. Debbie. She's going to make so much money on this condo. See, Maybe one day she'll use it as a rental. Maybe she'll sell it, make money, and then we'll do her next mortgage. How's see, that this is the cool thing. I think that's such a good call. Even though she didn't use us, she bought a house. She likes the show. Like, dude, that's, that's helping the overall like local economy. It sounds, sounds like she had a good realtor, listened to what she wanted, and, and you know, a condo worked better than a, than a single family home. No maintenance, and it's good. Good. Yeah, home. it's tough when you're renting and paying top dollar for rent to even save money. We'll get to that a little bit later. Two four eight five three nine ninety seven ninety seven. Let's roll off to Dave in Waterford. Good morning, Dave. Welcome to the show. Good morning, gentlemen. How are you? Good. How are you, sir? I'm fine. Listen, I've got a question. Uh, I had a house built that I'm living in now, ninety two, uh, refinanced in two thousand four through uh, IndyMac, or I'm sorry, uh, Quicken Loans. I get a phone call, and I had PMI attached for all those years. Mm -hmm. But about two months ago, PMI dropped off, except for the $235 PMI dropped off, except for $35. I don't quite understand that, but I'm not going to, you know, it's, it's, at least it's, most of it's gone. Okay. I get a phone call uh, about a week ago uh, saying that uh, IndyMac and Aquin, which I have my mortgage through, uh, is being sued class action lawsuit and that you can refinance with us now i try to call them no return calls I, my question is is this a legitimate i mean is no this just a come on absolutely absolutely not 
I mean, first of all, percent knowledge. Well, go ahead, Art. For you, oh, sir. I was just going to say. First of all, if the lender or the servicer that you're making your payments to is being sued or something, that's irrelevant. I mean, you're, you're you have a deal with them. You have to make your right. timely payments regardless. And again, this is a lot of scams, and scammers are back out into our real estate world. And we've been writing it into the show recently, trying to warn people. Uh, again, you're making your payments. Uh, all Dave, I want to say is continue Dave, to do that and forward us that email. Well, yeah, I mean, Dave, here's the thing, too, man. I mean, a mortgage is publicly recorded. So anybody can pull your your records from, from the county and see yeah. that Dave, you know, got his mortgage through ABC Lender and, uh -huh. you know, and, and, the, and the mortgage bounce. So somebody can call you out of nowhere. I mean, Dave, some, some random person calls and says, hey, refinance with me. Give me a social security number. And your identity is gone. Or they toss you a letter with an American flag. I got you. I got you. Yeah, or, yeah, or, yeah, Dan is a great one. Or Dave, I mean, how many things do you get in the mail that have like an eagle and an American flag? And, oh, yeah. You I'm, know? A, I'm a, I'm a non-vet and I get all that stuff and it's just. It, it's just a scam and it's, 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 it's exactly. unfortunate, man. I mean, how, and, how about and, this? And, and thank you for your service. We appreciate that too, man. Okay, That's awesome. Hey, Dave, what about that too? What about uh, the fact that, you know, here they are telling you that someone's going to go out of business? Well, what does that mean? That you don't have to pay them? What, what if well, they went out of, you know. It's a recorded I I mortgage. I haven't missed a payment. I mean, this may be hard to believe. I have not missed a payment. Uh, my credit is, I don't work right now. I have I have cancer. And uh, so my wife works, but I don't. But my credit score is like 808. My wife's in low eight, 800s. I'm proud of so you. Good job. See, we just can't. They, we, you know, I went try to go through the military. They sent a, guy, a, a woman out here to appraise. And it was a free appraisal through the, through the, through the VA. Probably see the ads on TV. Yep. Well, my my house, I I owe two twenty on it, and it was appraised for one ninety. Ah. so they basically said, you know, good luck. How much did you buy it for in nineteen ninety two? One hundred and fifty dollars. How do you owe? How do you owe two twenty then? Well, that's between all this uh, two thousand four refinancing. I guess they they all these fees were kicked on on the end. Not two hundred twenty thousand dollars. Well, it's exactly. Mm. exactly. So where did the, where did the two twenty go? Did you, yeah, did you do a home project? Did you put a new roof on, consolidate that? What did no, you do? No, hmm. no, Well, Dave, you know, I definitely want to, I want to know who you are. Eh? You're, you're from my hometown there, so I definitely want to check it out and see if we can uh, save you some money on that. Again, the PMI thing, too, the PMI should have fell off if it's after five years. Instead, it sounds like they reduced the monthly PMI. We'll give you, we're going to follow up with you, Dave, and see if we can fix you up a little bit here. You mean that PMI has been on there since 2004 and it should have dropped five years after? Well, well once you have... No, not necessarily, no. Not necessarily, oh, but okay, if you had okay. the equity position, it should have. But again, it sounds like you did a cash-out refinance, and in order to do that, you should have been in an 80 loan of value. I, I'm a little confused on your loan and definitely want to look at it. Okay. All right, we'll, we'll give you a show, call. Dave. Thanks, man. I, I will. Thank you very you much, got it. Thank you, sir. Alex, why not have a professional look at his mortgage? Definitely, he's got a lot of things going on there. And this is why we warn people. Maybe, I don't want to, I got to be careful what I say. I'm with, I know, I'm on the same page. Maybe if you don't call that place, that real big uh, mortgage lender, well, no, not, maybe it's, you'll it's, get more information. But that's not even so much why that. Why is he so in the dark on it? I, I, I don't know how... I, you know what's interesting is that if we had more time, we could slowly go through it and we'd hit the ah moment and say, oh, here's what's going on. Yeah. Uh, but the, the, it it takes take some time to do that, but there's something, it's, it's either on his end or it's usually the other side end that's taking advantage of it. We that. bought the house for, 100, for $150. Said, yeah, so... Right? Well, 150000 let's say. Oh, I thought he said $150. No, no he said no. $150. He said, yeah, but he didn't mean that. Been, he didn't mean that. Yeah. Let's say he bought it for one fifty. It appears he did some form of a cash out refinance, consolidated something because he's up to two twenty. Yeah, so but where'd that seventy grand go? And, and, and if it's if he's if it's through the VA right now, you can do a VA rate reduction. It's just streamlined. It's very simple. But so, I mean, here's the thing. But I guess I guess the point that it is like, if don't do business, don't do business with people that call you. Right. Like, I mean, has anybody ever picked the phone up and been like, uh, "Hey, Mister Debensky, this is this is Jim from whatever." And if they say they're, they're, the company's going out of business, that I owe money to. I'd be like, "Yeah, well, great." I don't know money now. He's thinking, you know, oh, they're going to transfer it somewhere else. The whole the whole story sounds fishy. Well, I don't think that it's fishy anymore. He just, just doesn't quite understand what he got into. I just said, you know, just buy, it's buyer beware. You know, and it's like here, it's like here to give Glance a, a shout out right now. Like he always says, like like your parents told you, you were a kid, don't talk to strangers. Yeah, well, you definitely beware of the like, scammers like, what, out what, there. What, like, what was the first thing you learned when you were like walking to school by yourself? Don't talk to strangers. Two four eight five three nine ninety seven ninety seven. Want to get to your open lines today, Alex? Your favorite Warren Buffett, one of the richest men in the world. He still lives in the same home that he bought in nineteen fifty eight. He bought the home for thirty one thousand five hundred. I saw a picture of it last night. It's a nice house. It's a nice colonial house. But again. 
you, sometimes maybe you just don't need to overpay. Maybe you just don't need to buy something that's not going to work out for your family. Make better decisions. Get better people involved in your decision making or get that knowledge ahead of time and you're going to be in far better shape. 248-539-9797. As we want to get some phone calls here, we definitely want to go into what I was going to talk about here. I was just, you know, it, it was a great point, Harvey. You talk about like maybe you don't need it. And you know, there's so many times I talk to clients, especially, you know, some of my first time home buyers, especially where I sit them down and say, guys, Listen, I know you, I'm doing air quotes right now, you qualify for the mortgage, but you got to think, man, I mean, you got a DTE, you know, Comcast, I mean, all, all the utilities, I mean, that stuff adds up. I've, I've seen say, you in interviews with, with our mutual clients, and you ask them, what's your lifestyle like? Do you guys belong to a club? Do you go out uh, how often? How often do you go to movies? Yeah, exactly. You, I mean, you go to dinner a lot. Up after a while because people don't know. They think that it's that number. When you buy a home, there's additional stuff that goes with it, right? Uh, but... You know, it's it's something that you have to look into beyond what they can just qualify for. All right, we've got some open lines, 248-539-9797. So I wrote down a lot of like little things like reminders, things out there I wanted to share with the audience. And one of them was FHA loans. And, you know, I used to tease people. When I first got in the industry, I had someone really train me on FHA and VA back in 1992. They taught me the ins and outs. And, and truthfully, FHA, the Federal Housing Administration, allows our buyers out there. And again, you don't have to be a first-time home buyer at all. You can purchase a house for as little as 3.5% down, and the seller can pay closing costs and prepaids. One of the things is there's many families out there and individuals that are FHA buyers, but they're looking at condominiums. And so few of these condominiums now, so few of these condominiums are FHA approved. So there's a little catch and you got to make sure you're dealing with the right people. We ran into one at the office where they were moving forward with the condominium. It said on the listing, FHA approved. Sure enough, we had to check with FHA Connection. There's a website we go to to find out and it had expired about two or three years ago. So again, if you're a first time home buyer, if you're an FHA buyer and looking at condominiums, give us a phone call. We can get you all the cities and list all the different uh, you know, condominium complexes that are approved. I'll tell you what, that's one of the most frequent questions we have. What's the difference between FHA and conventional? And what happens is you have the inspector come out along with the appraiser and they're looking for different things that are hazards. Flaking paints, number one thing usually is what you have. And that's a paint that has uh, lead in it. If it gets airborne, they have to uh, fix that, repair it prior to closing. Uh, another one is uh, uneven pavement. Um, you see that all, all over the place. Yeah, and that one's well, it's not. A, well, it's a trip hazard. It's yeah, a trip hazard. we don't. I don't see that one anymore. They haven't been coming after the concrete Hand, handrails. Yeah, yeah you still get that one. Yeah. yeah. So it's not the end of the world. Uh, they're they're um, they're, they're a good good loan. People seem to seem to like them, and they uh, you know it requires a little bit more work. Look, there's no difference to a seller at the end of the day. Okay, if that buyer wants to buy the house and you're selling it, you're going to walk away with X amount of dollars. Look, if someone told you not to sell your house FHA, forget about I'll that. Let me tell you why. There's something wrong with the house. Well, oh. that's why. If you're a listing agent and you're t- and you're telling a, 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 a potential buyer that you're not going to, you know, we're not taking an FHA mortgage. There's a reason for that. There's something right. wrong with the house. Two four eight five three nine ninety seven ninety seven. All of your calls. We'll be right back. Earnings vary based on your effort. Do you want to learn how to make money flipping houses right here in Detroit and Ann Arbor? If so, we have an amazing opportunity for you. We're looking for a small group of motivated individuals to join our real estate investing team. You'll learn our simple three-step system for flipping homes right here in the local area. This is Than Merrill, star of A&E's hit TV show, Flip This House. My team and I are looking for a handful of people in the Detroit and Ann Arbor area who want to learn how to make money flipping houses in your spare time using other people's money. Detroit and Ann Arbor are perfect markets for my system. And next week, I'm holding a free two-hour educational workshop where you will learn how to make money flipping homes and how to build long-term wealth with income properties. To get two free tickets to Than's Workshop, call 1-800-235-0951. Seating is extremely limited. Call in the next 10 minutes and you'll also reserve a free copy of Than's Money for Deals Guide. That's 1-800-235-0951. That's 1-800-235-0951. Did you know that a dirty CPAP system can make you sick? If you knew what could be growing in your mask and hose, you might not sleep so well. But now, SoClean.com has released the world's first and only automated CPAP cleaner and sanitizer. It kills 99.9% of all CPAP germs, and it's completely hands-free. For a limited time, you can try SoClean risk-free for 30 days. Just call 1-800-700-1996. SoClean changed the CPAP experience for the better. My health has improved. It's simple to use, and I'm not worried about infections. 
SoClean destroys CPAP bacteria, viruses, and germs, and it eliminates the daily hassle of washing your system by hand. There's no water, chemicals, or disassembly. Just pop in your mask, close the lid, and presto, your CPAP system is clean and fresh in minutes. Call SoClean.com to try it risk-free at home for 30 days. This is a limited-time offer, only available by calling 1-800-700-1996. That's 1-800-700-1996. If diets and diet products keep failing to flatten your belly, it may not be a diet product you need. You may need Soma Biotics, the shockingly effective breakthrough that flattens bloated bellies fast by cleansing pounds of waste from your body. Right now, you can find out for free how much flatter Soma Biotics will make your belly because they're currently giving away free trials to the public. For yours, call 1-800-600-6516. Strict limit of one per household. Soma Biotics is not a diet product. It's scientifically formulated with natural ingredients to cleanse your system, flatten bloated bellies, and combat periodic heartburn and acid reflux. If your belly flattening results are too dramatic, simply reduce use to every other day. If diets keep failing to flatten your belly, it may not be a diet you need. It may be Soma Biotics. Call now for your free trial and see how much flatter it makes your belly. 1-800-600-6516. Hurry, call now for details while they're still giving trials away for free. 1-800-600-6516. That's 1-800-600-6516. It's summer sell-down at Jim Carsley Buick GMC. Get out of your current lease early and get... Below employee pricing on a 2016 GMC Terrain. 24-month conquest lease for only $129 a month. $999 down and no dock fee. Offer ends August 31st. Visit JimCosley.com. GMC, we are professional grade. Can't do better. Can't do better than Cosley. Jim Cosley, 16 and a half in Gratiot in Clinton Township. Cruisers, your Lincoln Detroit Buick GMC dealers invite you to cruise into Athens, Coney Island on Woodward South of 14 Mile today. When Pat Caputo and Kyle Bogey start broadcasting at 10 a.m., followed by Dennis Pithian and Dan Leach at 2. There'll be round the clock entertainment and special guest Detroit Tigers Ian Kinsler will be there at noon for photo ops. Register to win a two-year lease of a new Buick or GMC vehicle and free Vermonti Brothers for a year from Vermonti Brothers Restaurant and Bar in Taylor, Athens, Coney Island on Woodward South of 14 Mile today. Get more info at 971 The Ticket. 97.1 The Ticket Where real men come to play Welcome back to the show 946 if you're just joining us It's the Hardcore Mortgage Real Estate Business Show Brought to you by Capital Mortgage Funding 1-800-LOW-RATE The best mortgage banker You can also send us an email To mortgage.show At lowrateonline.com I'm Harvey Fried Alex Nafusi with Capital Mortgage We brought in Dan Dubinsky Skyward Realty Downtown Royal Oak uh, Dan knows the back roads, so definitely take your time. If you're going to be cruising anywhere near Woodward, a little quick salute out. We've got the guys all the way over at Athens Coney right there in Woodward. Pat Caputo, Kyle Bogey coming up just after our show to talk about social commentary. What's going on with our Tigers? I don't know. They got to Ooh. go to Coney Island to do their show? Yeah, they're out there broadcasting live yeah, at Athens. Just... Go check it out and say hi to the 97 people. Unbelievable. All right, hey, let's move off to some calls here. We've got Mike in Southgate. Good morning, Mike. Live on the show. Go ahead. How you doing? Good. What's up, man? Yeah, yeah, I have a land contract, and I'm looking to refinance. Uh, I have a short sale. I'm, I'm, uh, it's supposed to fall off around December. Uh, speak, I speak. I was talking to someone from Capital Mortgage. I think it might have been. I won't say his name. I guess, but uh, he might have been me. Van Burke. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. How you doing? Okay. So, uh, it, so okay. interest rates. You think they're still going to be under four, around four, under four around December? Uh, I or? mean, I don't have a crystal ball, but I don't see a, a huge spike in rates. What? So, first of all, your, your foreclosure is not going to fall off. It doesn't go away. Short sale. When, when was? It's a short, it's, it's a, it's supposedly a short sale. My foreclosure. I don't have a foreclosure. Is that similar? Same thing. Short sale. Yeah, it's, it's basically it's, it's viewed as the same thing. Yes. So when when was the short sale? Uh, be three and a half years, I guess. You told me. How, how many how, how many years ago was it? Between it'd be three and a half years around December. And then, that's when he's telling me. I well, guess you, can, that, you can go FHA now. Yeah, if you did your if you did a short sale, so you had a hut when you did it when you closed. It was obviously three years ago or so, right? Yeah, yeah, but it's, it's kind of. Yeah. All right, so it's three years from the date of that short sale. You'd be able to get an FHA mortgage right now if you've reestablished okay. your credit and you don't have any other holes. I don't, again, I don't know if you had a bankruptcy actually, or anything my else. Credit's about, my credit's almost 700 right now. Okay. I mean, you could buy right now. You could actually buy now. Now, it might be uh, a, a better term for you if you waited to go conventional. I wants to refinance at, a land contract, not buy. Oh, I'm sorry. You're just going to pay off your land contract? Yeah, you do it right now. 
You can do that okay. right now. So um, I'm going to follow up with you after the show. I'll, I'll talk with Dan, too, on Monday. Mike, but the key is we want to get your du- your ducks in a row. You get your documents together, and we'll run you through yeah. the system. Yeah, it sounds like you qualify right now. Okay. Good. Is your yeah. And one last question. Is your land contract, is that recorded? Yeah, I believe, yeah, it should be. Okay, well, sure. I don't know. Did you go to a title company and close, and there's a title agent there and all that? Did you do yeah. title insurance? Yeah. I think you're going to be in pretty good shape, Mike. Thanks for the call. I'm going to follow up with you after the show. Thank you. All right. You know, I bring it up because, Alex, I talked to some people this week. And sure enough, a lot of families out there, they were desperate. You know, they they had these problems, Dan. They lost their homes. They were losing their jobs. And they needed a home for their family. And they entered into land contracts. They... I don't even know if they have an exit strategy, but some of them can't qualify. Some of the land contracts that we're talking to people, they're not even recorded. Some of the land contracts are nothing more than rental agreements. Yeah, people nothing more than a rental agreement. You can't have a land, land contract if you have a, you have a mortgage. You right. You, right, exactly. They don't record it because then we become due on sale. Exactly. And you know what's interesting? I always like to ask these guys, the home that he uh, short sell, what's that, what's that home worth now? And nine out of ten times, it's worth more than what... It's worth more. A whole lot more. And probably more than what, uh, you know, they had the mortgage for. Look, people who listen to the show know that, Alex, and you guys definitely have. You know, again, uh, look, I do too, but a little bit differently. Definitely have a bug. People, if you hung in there, many families did hang in there. Some families are still upside... If you're still upside down on your house in 2016, then you did a cash-out refinance and someone inflated that. You you pulled all your equity out of the house. Or whoever... Well, you're, you're an upside down. You got your money. Well, you got your money, right. right the but bank's upside down. Some, you got your cash. Keep making your payments then. Yeah. Maybe maybe one day soon things will change. Hey, Trey out there in Rochester. Good morning, Trey. Welcome to the show. Hey, how's it going? Good. What's up, man? Uh, just looking to buy a, our first house. Awesome. Well, the problem is great income, bad credit. Why is the credit bad? Medical. Okay. Can we... Can all we, medical. Okay. Can um, we, from go ahead. past few surgeries and all that good stuff. Okay. So can we can we settle the medical collections? Uh yeah, just about. I mean they're almost settled. Okay. So uh, I guess I guess my question I guess, about $2,000 worth of debt left. Okay. So if you have good income, how can you not pay $2,000 in medical bills but you want to buy a house? No, we're wrapping up paying the medical bills and now looking into buying the house. The medical bills should be done in about the next maybe month or so. So Trey, here's what I want to do is I want to run your credit and see actually where you're at. You guys have like uh, you have like a, like any other lines of credit that are good. You have lease payments, any any credit cards you pay up every month. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so, I mean, if you've got good lines of credit, we clear the collections. I mean, you're, you're definitely a potential buyer. You know, it could be in the next couple months. Absolutely, man. Okay. Well, so, appreciate the help. Yeah, I'll give you a call after the show and get it taken care of. All right. Cool. Thanks. All right, see you. All right. A lot of opportunities out there for homeowners. I want to throw this out there: USDA loans, rural development loans, in the outlying counties here in Northern Oakland County, Wayne and Macomb. Also in Livingston and just about anywhere else in the state of Michigan is an absolutely unbelievable opportunity for people out there listening right now. There are income limitations, but the program's set up so you can purchase zero down and you're allowed to get seller's concessions, I believe, up to 4% on those transactions. So, again, it doesn't take a whole lot of money to become a homeowner. I actually wanted to carry on with that. No, you're fine. I was was pretty excited about that. Just throwing that out there. Also to our veterans, the VA loans, of course, are always zero down. Uh, The funding fees, very low. And you can take a look at that, too. If you did serve our country, we'd love to help you here locally. More and more veterans, find out your opportunities there. That eligibility is fantastic. Again, always conventional loans, 3% down. FHA loans at 3.5% down. You don't need 20% saved up to purchase a house. You just don't. No, I agree 100%, man. If you enjoy the show, 248-539-9797. Or you can always call the office at 1-800-LOW-RATE. I think uh, I think Mark's there. Who's there? Are Ronnie Jay's there? I, don't, there are, I think I'm oh, Philos- I, Mike Philos- is there. But, um, there. You know, there. It's funny, Dan, so I just got a call from, from your business partner, from Josh, on my cell phone. I've been doing the show for 15 years. We've been friends for 10. I've missed a Saturday, you know, forever. I don't know why he's calling me right now with a <laughs> question. <laughs> he he, said, he, he wants to get on the air. Yeah, he, he, well, he, we call my cell, not the, not, the, not the actual studio. But, you know, he's he had a question about, you know, one of, one of his clients called him with a mortgage question. Like, just, just stay in your lane. Like, you, you ask your realtor real estate questions. When we started this years ago, people were saying, hey, you should open a mortgage company as well. I'm like, you know what? We happen to just meet around. Yeah, that was the same time you got started, yeah. You not have possibly uh, done both great. You can, and that's what I say. Why try to do two things? Do one really good and have a relationship Exactly. With stay in your lane. Like, when, so when a buyer asks me, like, oh, am I getting a good deal on this house? I, I don't know. I have no idea. At, call Dan. I yeah. think I, I think so. Call yeah. call Debensky. Ask him. Yeah. The, the last call, I was a little confused about. I mean, isn't this a question you guys ask guys? Have you saved up for a down payment? 
right? Yeah. And the answer is yes, right? Sure. But if he owes $2,000 to someone else, so he hasn't saved up for a down payment, or he's using that down payment money, but he also has to pay this off. So, I mean, it's confusing to me, and I don't even get there. But I know we have a ton of programs, these uh, these 3.5% three, three down, we can get... Uh, Seller's concessions yeah, are dynamite. Concessions, along with a gift letter, you can get in for... Yeah. Educate yeah. yourself on yeah. the process. There's more to, the, to it than a down payment, See, obviously. It's, it, it was, it's such a great point, Dan. You're like, just do one thing, excellent, great. Right. Don't do seven things average. Right. I mean, I, it didn't work out well for Michael Jordan when he switched from basketball to baseball. No, just no. Stay, dude, just stay in your lane. I mean, we, we know you're a great athlete. That's awesome. Sweet. Thanks for you know playing the minors. Stick to basketball, dude. I, I got a call from a well-known realtor around town here and said, hey, you, you, who do you use for title? Do you think we should start one together? No. Why? I, There's I, like 8 million title companies yeah, out exactly, there. Exactly, because they see a little bit of money coming in that way, and then they think they can jump there. And, you know, just focus on what you're doing. All the other stuff will fall together. Yeah, and like you just that. do one thing. That, that's why there's attorneys that specialize in specific areas of, of the law. I mean, you don't see... They're good at it, right? Yeah, they're, they're very, very good. It's specific. It, it, it's specific what they do. Just be just be great and excellent at, at you know one thing. If you're amazing, you do two things. Yes. Sweet. It's to be Bo but Jackson's out there. Yeah. I was I was I was, I was, I was, I was say Dan Sanders and Bo Jackson. Okay. Just be great. Just be really really good. Like you know, oh get your your mortgage, your real your, your realtor, your What's title, your homeowner's insurance. It's it's impossible. You're not doing you know it, it, it ain't gonna happen. Hey Fannie Mae's on your side. They're maintaining their forecast for 2016. They say with these low rates, yeah, expect them maybe for the rest of the year. Um, maybe new construction picks up a little oh. bit. Well, unless you're Bobby uh, Efros, then you're amazing at everything. <laughs> hey, inventories are still down. Again, we're definitely feeling that here in Southeast Michigan. Inventories really are low. Whatever homes are left, if they do have some uh, obsolescence, if the, if the home needs some major league repair, FHA 203K loans are a great way for you to purchase a house and make it the way you want to make it. There's so many of those great opportunities, yeah. Dan. There's only two reasons there's a home on the market that hasn't sold right now. It's overpriced or it's just there's something really wrong. Or it's junk. It. It's junk, exactly. And even junk sells at a price, right? So it, you have people that are just testing the market and trying to get a number that's not realistic. All right, that's going to wrap it up for a show here. It's the Hardcore Mortgage Real Estate Business Show. Be sure to contact us at Capital Mortgage Funding at 1-800-LOW-RATE, the best mortgage banker. Of course, we got Kyle Bogey, Pat Caputo. They're out at Athens, Coney Island. Would you believe it? Over there on Woodward. Enjoy your Dream Cruise. Catch you here next Saturday. Hi, Harry Glantz for Capital Mortgage right. Funding. Rates are at historic lows. So what are you waiting for? Call 1-800-LOW-RATE and let our award-winning staff help you save money. Look, if you're looking to purchase a new home, refinance your existing home, and you want to save money, call 1-800-LOW-RATE and take advantage of these historic low rates. That's Capital Mortgage Funding, 1-800-LOW-RATE, the best mortgage banker. What are you waiting for? Call 1-800-LOW-RATE. Capital Mortgage Funding is powered by Fairway Independent Mortgage Corporation, NMLS ID number 2289, Equal Housing Lender. <laughs> yeah. The thirst is real. Yeah, I know.